Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's visit Newcastle! Now, to be fair, I was under the impression that there was a river around here somewhere, but um, I don't know where it is, but there are some nice bridges that go over something. Newcastle was built on tobacco. Not literally, I mean the business of selling tobacco. And the building in the background, the tall building with the pink on it, is an old tobacco building. Now, to celebrate that, it's been modified and turned into an art gallery. And we have a roll-up, which signifies the importance of cigarettes here in the Newcastle. There are reminders everywhere of the tobacco industry, including this Dalla uh, restaurant, and of course, the infamous Greg's Bakery. That says, do you fancy drag in Latin? Here is Newcastle Castle, although this is Old Castle. And this is Newcastle's Newcastle, although it's still quite old. So you get stung by stinging nettles coming down this thing. This rickety staircase that brings you all the way from up there, down here. The bridge behind me is called the Newcastle Bridge because it's in Newcastle. The one behind that is called something else because it's a different bridge. Piers are your thing. The pier in Newcastle is, uh, well, it's not at its best condition. It needs that guy from Clan Dunno to sort it out. Newcastle has not inspired anyone recently to do anything exciting or artistic. However, it's still a popular haunt for Banksy. Newcastle's way of merging the old with the new seamlessly could not be seen here. There are many taxi ranks in Newcastle. It's a good way of getting about. It's also a good way of getting out of the town. However, they've spelled taxi backwards. It's mad. The money that was made from the industry that was tobacco built this fabulous curved railway station, which is sited right in the middle of the city on a hill. Who'd have thought? Many famous people have come from this area namely um Ch cheryl yeah cheryl and and, and that one off ant and dex takeaway thing and all those things but uh but no one has ever been as inspired as much as banksy not to be outdone by carnarvon who have a lovely statue representing somebody who can balance seagulls on the head here in newcastle they also have a statue that represents a seagull on someone's head this statue though is a man with a pitchfork, so he must be a farmer. Newcastle people, they say things like boyo and why I? and I've no idea why. Newcastle is very big into its recycling, and here we have a bottle bank. Unfortunately, um, I don't know where you're supposed to put the bottles. If you like bridges, you can do a lot worse than come here to uh, Tyneside and Newcastle, because there's one there in the background, there's one that I'm stood on, uh, there's one over there, and there's even one over there. Oh no, that's the new building, sorry. So here we are at the base of the Tyne Bridge, Newcastle Bridge thing. I say the base, it's not really the base because we're still quite high up. So it's like the base that isn't the base on the base. As you walk over this structure, you do wonder how many spanners were dropped into the river beneath. Well, maybe you don't, I don't. The bridge is also a good place to look at Newcastle's very lifelike model village. This bridge is for buses only. However, trains, they get to ride on top. <laughs> Although the Newcastlers didn't invent horses like the Victorians did, they did teach them to roller skate. And here's a statue that celebrates the roller skating derby of 2062. If you like old churches, and random statues of just blokes stood around doing nothing for no apparent reason and i said statues because there's more than one then you can do a lot worse than come to newcastle sorry mate do a lot better i'm not even asking what he's doing newcastle also has an underground railway system as well called le metro like in france but it's not in france although it was the romans who built it and they were from france there are lots of shops and places to do things like buy stuff and whatever that's all the way up there. I just can't be bothered going. Some parts of Newcastle are a little bit darker than others, but that's because they're tunnels. Someone once said, if you like going up and down stairs, then you can do a lot worse than go to Newcastle, because it's built on the side of a cliff with stairs going everywhere. Look, even stairs going nowhere. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very starry place. It's, can I get through here? Nope, it's a brick wall. There must be a way through here, though, wasn't there? Uh, no. This is... 
it's yep, it's yep. This is this is this is a, a, a very nice area that not many tourists get to see. Uh, I've done well to find this, uh, the archway of the railway line, and uh, yeah, let's just carry on with the stair, shall we? The LD Mountain Centre does a brisk trade, just from people visiting the town who can't get up and down the hills. Sadly, it's closed. Some buildings are built on streets that are that hilly that by the time they get to the end of the building, they've got an extra floor. Not many people realise that Batman was based here in Newcastle, and there is Gotham City, the nightclub, to prove the point. If you're a religious and you believe in fairy stories, then there's a church here that you could come and pray at. Although it's pointless, to be fair. Even cities like towns are having problems with banks. As we can see here, this massive bank is now closed. Here I am, going down some stairs again. But this time, I'm at the football stadium, Ibrox, where the Black and White Army play football. Black and White Army, of course, is a nod to the first army in the world that had black and white people on the same side. And to prove the point, is a statue of a man who could be black or he could be white. A bit like Michael Jackson, but it's not Michael Jackson, that's in Fulham. Not all of Newcastle is big streets and uh, massive roads. There are some areas which are quite quaint and quite quiet. Like this one, which is a little walkway. A bit of peace in the madness that is Newcastle. On average, there's only half a day a year when the sun shines in Newcastle. And people will take any opportunity to actually enjoy the sun. There, sitting on a windowsill ledge enjoying the sun. Drinking alcohol is the most important thing that people in Newcastle do, but they only drink Newcastle uh, Brown, which is like a, a weird kind of drink. Um, and to prove the point, there are pubs everywhere. They even have to put people outside to drink because it's that popular. Here we see another pub which looks like it's actually going to fall down at any time soon. I think it's had too much to drink itself. More than half the city's buildings are given up to the consumption of Newcastle Brown. There are not many millionaires in Newcastle, which is why there are only two yachts parked in the substantially large harbour. This is one of them, and just go past the weird bike. Here's the other one. Well, here I am at the actual base of the bridge thing, and you do wonder how big was the spanner that was used to put that nut in. <laughs> Bet he dropped there. Famous Formula One driver John Surtees is remembered here with a hotel in his name. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's visit.